welcome to a new, new episode. Now we start the, the video in a... I don't know, but it's three hours away from where I live, so... Uh, yes, we go to a location that I don't know a lot about. I was told the story, but I forgot. <laughs> So um, I will put it in the in the description below. So this location has some decent, very decent cars there. Let me get some Starbucks first. Let's hope they get this. Let's see if they get this right in this bloody city area. The next day This has to be the most ridiculous Starbucks I've ever been to They've got order bays here. Where I am now, they've got order bays where you order your food and you park up like in McDonald's, which is weird. Right, I'm gonna eat, eat drink this and eat my food and then we're gonna get on the journey. What is it with me, gypsy caravans, aesthetic caravans, fuck's sake. I don't normally do uh, the start of a video on a location, but as we're here on location, <laughs> I'll uh, start the video here. 1750 Alfa Romeo Spider. I mean, a lot, a lot might not like this, but I just think this is such a pretty little car. I love Alfa Romeos. I think Alfa Romeos are just beautiful cars in their own right. And we found one now. Okay, she's, uh, she's dead in my opinion, because there's no bringing this back. But. There you go, beautiful Alfa Romeo 1750. I don't really know what this is. It's got a fast back. What is it? Can we get in? Yes, we can get in. Just hope no one comes because this area is well well used and well cut and well trimmed. Let's try and get in. Uh, any ideas what this is? I don't really know. She's done um, 41,000 miles though. I can't even think what this is really. But she's a right little gem. If you can tell me what this is because I don't know it's some sort of fast back. I mean Looks like a fastback anyway. Certainly a cool little car. I've seen them before, I recognise it, I just don't know what it is. See so if you can help me. That would be amazing. There's a registration anyway. AO AOU 194J. God. What a shame for this old girl. She's definitely been here a long time. Try and lean on this bit of wood. The mileage on her is 9,000 or 8,000. But again, such a shame. Water, oil pressure, fuel. So the engine and gearbox is gone. Transmission tunnel's empty. Oh my god. Looks to be painted a different colour. She looks to be blue at some point. She was blue at some point. Yeah. Original paint the blue, I'm guessing. 
and then we have this uh, MG which is open oh what a shame that's my favourite word isn't it what a shame and the mileage is 87,000 I'm going to say she's genuine 87 genuine the MG badge there look still got the pack of uh, beds and edges in there I used to have one of these well I've had loads of these actually <laughs> oh this place is amazing I've just spotted a nice Nice little MG over here. What a shame of that little MG. Oh, look at that. Toilets. Look at that. I'm starting to really burn up. I'm so hot. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven thousand miles. Wow. Well, another call in the find. Just going to go around the back, see if we can take a picture of the back of it. What a cool little find that is. I'm, I'm absolutely loving this location. This MG is not going to be driven on the road again anytime soon. Like there's a little legendary car. <sighs> what a shame. Ooh, let's not open that. Still got a full set of wheels though, full set of uh, little wire wheels. Right then, got a little Mazda. Another little Citroen here, look. There's quite a lot of cars to look at really. Oh, I got a little MG Metro there, or is it just a Metro? Little beach buggy. We've only gone and found a Porsche. I didn't even see the Range Rover. <laughs> Little Metty. Porsche. What a location. Don't you think the back end looks like an MG? Look at those wheels. GT6. Triumph GT6. I mean, okay, not to everybody's taste, but I'm, I'm in love with it. Can you believe that's just sat there, dying, dead? So I'm just stood on this uh, old JCB, just to give you a better look of the cars. Got quite an array here, quite an array of uh, classic cars, quite a collection really, Triumph. Triumph, Range Rover, Porsche, Vauxhall, Viva I think over there. Some newer cars, but overall, what a bloody collection. Let's keep looking. She's certainly all there. She's certainly all there. Yep. Sad little rover. Well, let's have a look at this uh, Triumph here. Still got the keys in this one, and she smells something terrible. You don't find these very often anymore. I'm not climbing over to check the mileage, but you know, there she is with the keys in situ. Well, I'm not looking at that, okay? I'm not looking at that. Look at the Porsche, there's a registration of the Porsche. God, she's tight. There's no getting into that. Got a uh, two little Renaults here. 
gorgeous colours. I love these colours. I bet these are the tax-free models too. What a shame that they're just laid there to rest. Rover. Got this really cool old school Vauxhall. Look how the one, the one size, the one size completely fine and the other side's completely rotted away. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Must have been shittier metal that side. All the badges are still on. She doesn't deserve to sit here and rot, but here she is. She has no engine. The engine's missing from her. She had a clutch removed. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Old Lucas headlights. A bit weird, isn't it? Clean, not clean. Strange one. <clears throat> She's locked. <clears throat> Wow, what a nice interior. Lovely bench seat. That's pretty cool. I love the nostalgia. Not for my era, because this wasn't my era, but I just love the design of these old cars. They're so simple, weren't they? Ignition in the middle. What a sad find. Decent find, but sad. Let's go around this way. Old Citroen. We're getting closer to the house now. I don't know if anybody lives in there. I've only gone and found a Capri. Another Austin England. Was there two Austin Englands? I don't know. Was that an Austin over there? A little. I didn't even look at that, did I? Sorry. But a little Austin England. Kooky little cars, aren't they? Let's have a look at this here. Vauxhall. Wow. She's a smelly old girl. You gotta love the Avengers. They are. They are kind of cool little cars, aren't they? I mean, that name, Austin Avenger. Oh my God. And she happened, she had to be the hardest one to get to, too. Oh, you poor baby. I'm speaking too loud now. He only comes out, I'm going to shout at him. Oh, my poor girl. Look at her. those trees are wrapped around her they've actually turned into capri trees followed the body line of the capri there's no getting into into there at all i'm just stuck on everything look at her Poor girl. Registration is EFG 77 9V. So this is one of your long lost relatives cars. Let me know. Here she is. Poor girl. Damn, damn shame. I can't even bloody move. I've got myself cornered man. Oh, I'm fucking cornered. What a tit. Yeah. I'll be in it between them, mower. I have a Volvo. Oh, sorry, BW. So there's not an awful lot left now, really. It's a cool little Avenger here. Look at that's rot in the front end. I'll put it back on, don't worry. Oh, this thing was covered completely. This is why she's got micro blistering around it. Micro blistering everywhere. <clears throat> I bet this thing was an half decent nick before it had the cover put on it. That there, that cover there is what killed this car, I believe. Or helped to make it a bit more crunchy around the edges. A little Avenger. Lovely colour too. Lovely colour. Mm, she's open. Yeah. Be nice to see one of these modernised. Do you know what I mean? Made looking, made to look cool. Because these are still cool little, cool little cars. 
in my opinion. I think they're awesome little cars. Cool little Avenger. And then you got a Hyundai. Uh, fucking, yeah. But what I'm going to do now is run around, take a few pictures, do a few more stories. There's a car down there that we need to look at. And then we're going to make a move, so I'll be back in one second. So we'll have a little walk around again before we uh, go to that car over there. If we can get through, that is. These are some of the best cars I've found to date. There's not many graveyards like this really left. I mean with these types of uh, old iron, certainly not uh, where I live anyway. These tail lights are really cool, aren't they? Don't make them like they used to. Not forgetting the JCB. She's cool in her own right. Porsche. 944, it's a shame, again. Decent car, but you can't, oh, you've got a splinter. Can't do much about it, can't save it. Heart wrenching really, when you think about it. But, you know, she's there, she's rotten. A few honorable mentions. That Rover, and that Rover. I love Rovers, I've always liked Rovers, I've had plenty of Rovers, but these are quite hard to get to. How about these things are started? That's if the head gas hasn't gone, but I'm pretty sure they have gone. <laughs> got this uh, Range Rover here. I'm sorry, my old friend. Oh, dog barking. And then you got this uh, Triumph here, this Triumph here. GT6. Triumph. I want to take this out with me. I want to take this one home with me. Oh, she's tight. She's missing the tail lights. The registration's there, look, LHW34E. It's another one of those locations that I just don't want to leave. Do you know what I mean? I just want to stay here and just sit and cry. Another little Austin, England van. Just have a look at this. That's pretty cool, I like that. Little Austin, England van. Got lots of air vents now. Oh god. Oh she's a Vogue. Vogue SE. So she's a special dolly. Little 214i. She's locked. Oh, that leather looks lovely still. She's locked up. That leather looks really clean. Why is it always the black back leather looks good? Right. This place looks really worked, so I don't really want to be worked on in this place. So let's make a move. I'll have a quick look at this uh, beach buggy while we're here too. Yeah, that's not being put back on the road anytime soon. She's been there a week or two. Oh. And then you got this little Miata, um, uh, uh, Mazda. These things are really cool cars to drive. I mean, they're super cheap on insurance. So if you want a, a first car, get one of these. They've got a convertible for the sunny days or for those nice long Welsh uh, roads like the uh, 500. They also go quite fast. They're easily moddable. You can turn these into fast little nippy turbo things. Uh, only problem with these are, is they rust and rot like you would never believe. The amount of these I've gone to look at and they've the corrosion underneath is unprecedented. They're cool little cars if they're looked after. Certainly not from the coast though, don't buy it if you live near the coast or you're going to buy one by the coast because they're just dead. Well then, I think we're going to get out of here now, go look at this one car here. Hopefully we don't get caught on the way out, but one of them I suppose. I'm not too sure what it is. See I like these types of locations because you can, oh it's a Riley. Is it a Riley or is it a Hillman? Oh it's a Hillman, Hillman. It's a Hillman. <coughs> Was it Hillman what? Super, Super Minx? Is that what it is? Hillman Super Minx? I don't know. I'm not familiar with these cars, so don't, don't, well, saying that, I'm not, I'm not familiar with most cars really. It says it's a 1725. 1725, so yeah. Sad look at MG Turbo. So I'd love to do a wheel start on that. I'm almost certain that old gear the fire up. And then we've got these two little gems here. That's such a that's such a shame, really. It really is. Right then, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. 
Uh, so from me, Stokesy, I hope you enjoyed this video because it took me like 15 years to get here and uh, lots of tears because, you know, most locations were crap. Uh, so yeah, so from me, Stokesy, nothing but love and respect. And remember, don't limit yourself. Uh, I've got merch coming. Uh, I have got a merch pa um, uh, thing above my, my, on my, each video, but don't buy from there because I designed the, the stuff that's on there, but the company that puts it onto the, the, the shelf so you can buy, the actual shop are extortionate. They they chose the prices, which I think is a bit expensive. So hold fire if you're gonna think about buying things on there. And some of the things on there I've deleted, but they're still showing, which is weird. Anyway, but I've got stickers. If you're interested in buying any stickers, you know, let me know. Uh, I'll sort that out for you. Uh, yeah, so from me, Stokes, but love and love and respect. Thank you for watching. And until next time, don't limit yourself. And remember, keep car hunting or whatever hunting you like doing. Uh, yeah, let's uh, go. Peace. See you later. Uh, yeah, sweet. We're going now, I think. <laughs> a lot of old girls here. A lot of old girls. Fan of Eva, Vauxhall Viva. Shit.